Hey guys, welcome back. Giff here again today. Well, we finally made it after only a little over a year. DLSS has made its way over to Warzone. And as of this morning, we only have Rebirth Island to mess around with, but I guess the big map is coming here in pretty much the immediate future. But me being me, I wanted to jump on and see what DLSS was doing for our frames this morning because, you know, we've only had the native situation here for the last year. And I've been one of those people when I mess around in Black Ops or one of the other games that has DLSS. I feel like, man, it really does make a big difference in some other games. Now, I know there's been some people that said, no, no, you're just not going to ever really break through that 150 to 170 cap, no matter what hardware you run. Uh, but it's been a little bit better than that for me this morning, quite frankly. So as a little bit of a reminder, I play in 1440p. I have a 240 hertz monitor, so I don't need to go above that. But man, it would sure be nice to keep it in the low 200s. And I managed to do that this morning on various amounts of settings. I'm kind of going for a max run right now. So I have a 5950X in this PC, probably a little bit of overkill, but I had the opportunity, so I grabbed one. Now we're gonna go ahead in here and I am gonna reduce my render resolution to 105% and why I keep an over render on, if you will, is because I feel like Warzone is just naturally a blurry game, even in 1440. I've looked at it on a bunch of systems and a bunch of monitors and I never feel like it's a very clear game. So gonna leave it just a little bit of extra room to work right there. So we're gonna come down through here Obviously no V-Sync. I've got the frame rate maxed out. I've got highlights turned off. I do have a uh, reflex enabled with boost turned on there. We're going to come down here and leave the streaming quality on normal. I always struggle with turning down textures. I don't really like things to look like a potato, quite honestly. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that on high, but we're going to start mashing down most of the rest of the stuff that's not already turned down. We're going to leave Anastropic filtering on normal, leave particles on low, bullet impact we are going to leave on, of course. Tessellation disabled. On-demand texture streaming, I guess we'll leave that enabled. I don't think that has any big impact on frames. And from games I've already played this morning, uh, we're obviously going to leave the shadow map resolution on low. You pretty much always want to leave the shadow and sun shadows uh, enabled for cached. I don't think there's any reason not to have that on. I think that will help you have a few more FPS. Particle lighting on low. Now, this is the big one. I don't see a lot of benefit in an FPS game to have ray tracing on. So we'll actually leave that off. Uh, it is a big sucker of frames if you haven't messed around with that before. You really don't want to have that on if you're trying to achieve high frame rates in any kind of game. Ambient occlusion, ambient occlusion disabled. SSR disabled. Filmic strength, I know people, some say you should mess with this on certain settings for um, anti-aliasing. I can't stand it. I'll leave that off. Now, this is the big one here, DLSS. Now, I've messed around with several settings, had really good results. We're going to go ahead and turn that up to ultra right now. Now, keep in mind over here, ultra is usually for 8K resolution, all right? I'm down here at 2K resolution, so... It may be a little jaggedy. I've, I've not tried Ultra yet this morning. So we're going to see what we get as far as frames and how it looks when we start playing here in a minute. But a lot of times, if you were going for maximum frames, looks be damned, that's probably where you're going to want to be. For all the rest of us, it's somewhere in here. And I oftentimes ended up at balanced in Black Ops. Keep in mind, I'm playing on 1440, not 1080. So if you're still playing at 1080 and you're using 144 hertz or 240 hertz monitor, you should be able to probably blow that out of the water with a new graphics card or something from the Ampere family and just a decent CPU. A little more taxing with 1440. I'd be really interested to know if anybody's out there running 4K, let me know what kind of numbers you're seeing right now. The other interesting thing to realize here is once you activate DLSS, your anti-aliasing locks. DLSS takes over the job for anti-aliasing, so you don't have to worry about that right there. Depth of field, not a big fan of that one. That's disabled. I cannot stand world blur, and I can't stand motion blur, and I hate that in Black Ops. Even when you turn it off, it's still on. So those are the settings that we're messing around with right now. Obviously, film grain turned all the way down. I don't know why you would ever run that in, <laughs> in any game, to be quite truthful. So we're going to apply... 
And really the only option uh, for me this morning, because I'm playing by myself, is mini royal duos. So, let the chaos begin. And I can already see that my visual quality has gone down some by uh, going to ultra performance there. I was having a sharper picture earlier on some of the other settings, but we'll see what we get here for maximum frames. Okay, so we're gonna go for full averages here and kind of see what we get. I've never really enjoyed Rebirth that much. I feel like it's just not even moderately controlled chaos. It's just chaos. So we're gonna try to land away and at least get looted up. And we're to the Gulag already. Oh, wow. Okay, that's fast. So we had an average of 213 in that game, and we'll try it again here. So I was thinking here, let's just put this down to 100 and take the textures down to normal. Drop that down. Yeah, we'll try it like that. We'll leave the render resolution at 100 and leave the textures at normal. And we'll see how that looks. Oh, we're working with most of the island this time. Right, coming over that way and working our way in. Ooh, look at the average. Go, go, go. Get on the ground. Get me some guns. Whoa, but I will say nothing line. looks off oh, fist. Over. Seriously. Time to earn your freedom, soldier. Looking a little worse for wear. Yeah, You're fist. The the so two hundred and thirty eight is the average there. You know, I was thinking here. If we turn it. Okay, if we go low on the textures. All right, let's see how many FPS we can get this time. Let's try the decon zone. Bum, bum, bum. I see for me, that's overkill. I don't need that many FPS. <laughs> All right, we're going to go over here. We're going to get us some guns. We're going to work back. Okay, there it's dropping down, of course, now. I need a gun. And we're starting to get some weird stuff with our uh, textures there on that shield. I am pressing you up to skip. Aha, aha. You lose, your over. You're up, soldier. Guess he just wasn't having it. Nice average there, 248, 1440p. Can't argue with that. Where's some gear? I don't see gear. Nine. 
Nine, it's gonna be bad news. See how the guns are all? I don't know if that's something weird for this game right now or if it's just uh, how I've been messing with the settings. Don't see a lot of need for the rocket launcher. Really? I hear people. I hear people. Ah, run away! I don't even remember. Ah, oh, that's what I got. Yeah, I like those. Okay, that's cool. Get to the new safe zone. And the real thing that struggles that I struggle with here is doing this on a night map to really tell how anything looks. Because man, it's a night map, and although, oof, boy, that all looked pretty rough there. I'm just trying to stay alive for a few minutes here. Hey, hey, somebody didn't kill me for once. As you guys can probably tell, I'm not the greatest Warzone player in the world. <laughs> Yeehaw. Two of them. There's two of them. Run away. Still at 248 frames. Although that is driving me bananas with all the assets in the game. That could be a game issue right now. You know, I mean, we just did get a huge update, but it wasn't happening when I was running a higher texture. So. <laughs> that was terrible. He was already in the zone. So kind of the interesting thing there, we started getting on the potato end of things, obviously with some of those textures. I'm probably going to turn that back up. But at 248 or 250 FPS average on 1440p, I was not unhappy uh, with how that did using DLSS. I was going to tinker with this a little bit more. And we'll have to see if this is exactly representational of what's going to be when the big map comes back tonight or tomorrow on Verdansk. But it's encouraging to me to see that we're not going to be bound in the lower and mid 100s, even with high end hardware like we have been all along here with Warzone. So if you have any questions, as always, drop them down there in the comments. I know this is a little bit of a different video, but some people have asked, like, hey, Gif, what do you do with all this hardware? Well, this, this is the kind of stuff. I do with all this hardware. Uh, and speaking of that, I have started to kind of stream again on my secondary channel, on my gaming channel. I'll drop the link down below if anybody wants to find their way over and see some ham-fisted gaming, no doubt, often carried by my son Omega. And until next time, guys, good hunting and gif out.